All right, finally come, coming at you guys with top eight. We got Blaine Hill with the Drampa Garb versus Fabian Pujol with the Zorro Garb. Blaine's going first in this first game. Uh, we're seeing Bridget for, looks like Drampa Trubbish. I was gonna have to get the Lele as well. And he's got the Sudowoodo in hand. Yeah, so it's gonna be Drampa Trubbish. It looks like he's eyeing up a second Drampa. Um, but when you're filling your bench like this as Blaine on the first turn, I don't like getting only one Trubbish because that means Fabian on his turn can actually like focus down the Trubbish and then you don't have another bench space to set up another Trubbish as a backup Trubbish. Um, well, he hasn't decided yet and he's going with the Drampa. Yeah, so I don't like this play from Blaine. That means Fabian doesn't have to put Skyfield in play to KO and just focus down the Trubbish slash Garbodor um, if he becomes a Garbodor. So yeah, I don't like uh, the second Drampa. I'd rather see a second Trubbish here from Blaine because now... Uh, Fabian can choose to kind of just focus on the Strubbish as the game progresses. Uh, he's got a Zarua and only Paralyzing Gaze, so dead draw start here for Fabian. Not over yet, um, but not in a great start. Not in a great spot here for Fabian off the start. Uh, we see Blaine trying to get out the Ability Lock Arb, and he courses looking for a DCE uh, tool here. At the very least, he wants to find a tool, shut off the abilities from Fabian potentially next turn, Shaman, Tabu Lele. Try and keep him in the dead draw for as long as possible. There's the tool no dce um so i wouldn't be surprised to see a uh, yeah big wheel gx here i'm sure that's what we're about to see here from blaine there's the big wheel second cycle to the active a little bit unnecessary i feel like but i guess you know five make potentially have like a red card or something in his hand he's holding on to so i guess you kind of just want to draw any energy and speed up the process of this uh uh removing these pokemon from play knowing that five is currently dead drawing there's a top deck i'm not sure what it was I think it might have been the delinquent. There's a head paralyzed heads here, finally, from uh Bobby. And there's a parallel city play down from Blaine. I don't like the parallel city play down just because uh Fabian is dead drawing. You know, he has to be drawing something. Those thing, things could be Skyfield, Delinquent, stuff like that. Like you're not limiting him on this turn, I feel like, very much when he's dead drawing. I definitely don't like the uh parallel city play down here from Blaine. Uh, he's gonna get punished here by it. Uh, Fabian being able to remove, even though Fabian is dead drawing, him being able to remove parallel cities without having to use Skyfield or Field Blower and being able to use Delinquent here is actually great for him. Um, see the three discards coming out. Um, yeah, definitely great for him. There's a Tails on the Paralyzing Gaze. Once again, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like the parallel city replay by Blaine. Fabian has to have something in his six card hand. Via Seeker is definitely possible. Um, yeah, not a big fan of another Parallel City coming down here from Blaine. It really doesn't do that much um, for him anyways. If uh, Fabian wants to top deck Bridget, if you're knocking out his Zerua, he still has three bench spaces for the Bridget. Like, you're not you're not limiting him at all by uh, putting this Parallel City in play. Um, I guess he is going for the Juniper. Um, so the Parallel City is, like, more okay here from Blaine. Uh, but I almost would have liked to have seen him just discard it just because of the threat of the delinquent, actually. Um, yeah, just because of the threat of the delinquent, I would like to see him just discard the uh, the Parallel City and not put it in play. Uh, here we see Red Card, and we do see the Via Seeker in hand, so delinquent is about to come down from Fabian. Once again, if he doesn't have draw supporters or Zoroarks or anything to kind of set up his board, he's got to have something, right? And it is uh, Via Seekers and Red Cards and a delinquent here. Um, so yeah, not a huge fan of that play from Blaine, once again, overextending the Parallel Cities, but it looks like it doesn't matter here, as Fabian doesn't have any follow-up and is going to scoop up Game 1 pretty quickly. Um, but he'll be going first in Game 2. It looks like you have an Ultra Ball for Lele for Bridget, uh, and then the red card, which <laughs> puts Blaine into a raw Bridget. So with how they're both drawn here, I definitely am favoring Blaine right now. Blaine's drawn... Pretty well. Um, so on this, on this, on this uh, Bridget, I don't mind the Drampa Drampa Trubbish just because your bench is more opened up. I actually like the Drampa Drampa Trubbish here um, because you have a more opened up bench, right? Um, so you're going to be able to uh, find room for another Trubbish into play as already a second Trubbish comes into play. So I'm okay with it there. Uh, not sure what Bobby and top deck there, um, but he goes ahead and trades away as a Rua. Finds a chorus, psychic to the active as well. So he's going to be able to take out the Suda Widow here, which is actually like a super uh beneficial knockout here for uh for fabian it's a very nice knockout to try and get early on on the pseudo widow uh, especially because it might trip blaine might struggle to try and get the get the pseudo widow back and put it back in play uh, you can take take advantage of that whenever you go to like field blower away um 
the tools, you're all of a sudden not really limited by the pseudo widow. There's the retreat and the knockout on the pseudo widow from Fabian. Over to Blaine. Uh, has parallel city, and I think he has the big wheel. Yeah, his hand is not great. Ability lock garbage, big wheel. All right, so not a great turn two from Blaine here. Yeah, you never really want to use big wheel like this. <laughs> Uh, right into the face of a Zorak with a DC. You always want to be righteous edging. So, not a great start. Um, start off here from Blaine. And yeah, there's the Skyfield. Definitely want to see Fabian look to fill his bench. There's a couple guys coming down. He's got an Ultra Ball. He's got a Dowsing Machine. Um, he has a red card in there. So, a Dowsing Machine for red card. Yep, there it is. And uh, he has access to egg. He's got two Ultra Balls in hand. I would, I wouldn't, I would be surprised if one of those Ultra Balls don't come down for another basic Pokemon. Um, he's got one egg in the discard pile, so he still needs to get to eight. So egg makes six. Um, Ultra Ball makes seven. Um, he's gonna go for a Shaman. Dig a little bit deeper. Um, I'd like to see that Ditto become a, a Zorark this turn. He could have done that last turn actually. I don't know why he didn't make that Ditto a Zorark last turn. Uh, yeah, Psychic to Trubbish as well for the Trash Lance later on is also super nice. You can still make an Ability Lock Arb if you want to as well. It just kind of depends on the situation. All right, there's the Ability Lock Arb. He's got access to another Ultra Ball. Um, he does need one more Pokemon here to go with that egg. So we'll see one more Pokemon come out here. I believe he only has the one egg in the discard pile. Yeah, and then it's a Vespa Queen. All right. So we got one, you need one more bench Pokemon here from Fabian. Uh, it will probably just become the egg. Definitely makes most sense to me. I wouldn't overextend any more other basic Pokemon. There's no reason not just to utilize the egg. Um, it's very likely that Blaine, if Blaine draw, plays, finds at least a draw supporter, that he'll find a uh, he'll find a parallel city. Um, I see a, another Ultra Ball here from Fabian. Maybe just getting the Trash Lance Garb because he can evolve that. I don't think he well, can he evolve that. He can evolve that Trubbish, I think. Yeah, goes for a Zerua. I definitely don't like this Zerua bench. Um, so one of the one of the biggest resources in this matchup it actually is your own Pokemon um, as Fabian, um, because through constantly being parallel city while you're trying to take one shots on Drampa, you can actually just run out of Pokemon. So I definitely would have liked to have seen him just put an egg there instead of the Zerua. Don't lose the Zerua. There's no need to uh, if you are to get parallel city or pseudo Wudoed. Either way, both work. Uh, both shut you down. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, not a big fan of that Zerua bench over an egg bench there from uh, from Fabian. Uh, over to Blaine's side, we will see the Righteous Edge. We see a Mysterious Treasure as well here from Blaine. And so, we have, so he'll be able to go for Lele for N, which is what I assume he'll go for. He's got the Psychic Energy to get the Righteous Edge. And then off the N, he would be looking for the um, Tool as well as the Parallel City. Um, so we could definitely see Blaine have a very solid turn this turn. Really just going to come down to what he draws off the end. We'll have to see here. Eyeing up Oracorio. Definitely wants to get Lele for sure, I think. His hand is dead, right? He's sort of parallel. Okay, he's got another treasure. Okay, and then there's the Lele for the N. Gonna go ahead and put the Oracorio in play. Maybe he was out of Trubbish? I don't know why you wouldn't just take a third Trubbish there if you had access to a third Trubbish. Uh, Oracorio isn't consistently always good, um, despite a lot of Pokemon potentially always hitting the discard pile of a Zorak player. So, uh, definitely would have liked to have seen another Trubbish come out, but he may be prized double Trubbish. Definitely possible here as Blaine. There is the parallel. Oh, there's the computer search as well as the parallel city for the tool. No, that's a Trubbish. So, yeah, I don't know why he is favoring Oracorio so much over the. Uh, what's it called? But yeah, there's the parallel city. So, like I said, Fabian just kind of kind of lose a Zerua. Um, instead, he could have lost an egg or put the egg back in the discard pile. And then there's the righteous edge for 20. Um, and then back over to Fabi. He does top deck super odd, so he's going to be able to recover some of those Pokemon. He has another DCE in hand as well, I believe, with a float stone. Um, so we could we could see him potentially get a one shot here. There is a Via Seeker for a Colrus. Most likely will be going down this turn no matter what. Um, going for a two shot on this Drampa isn't terrible. I believe Fabian does play the special charge, so it's okay if he loses uh, a couple DCEs to attempting to two shot Drampas um, because he does he won't run out of them anytime soon. Yep, there's the Colrus. Chorus for seven. Uh, ideally, wants to find Skyfield and then fill his bench. Skyfield probably would need Field Blower for a couple abilities to make to pull that off, but um, definitely possible here. There's the draw. I don't see Skyfield, so it looks like he's going to be a hit the active for eighty from Fabian, which is fine. It sets up the two shot. Full on the active 
Zorak as well, so we can get that Zorak out of there whenever he wants to. I'm fine with that. The energy's gonna leave it anyways, so may as well switch it out for a fresh Zorak, or he has the option to just kind of leave that one in the active as well. Um, there's a Via Seeker for the Ace of Roll up from Blaine. I believe he has an end in hand as well, so this is fine. Comes back active, and then Righteous Edge on to Fabian's Zorak. Um, I wonder if I would have liked to have just seen an end there from Blaine instead. Uh, Fabian does have a pretty big hand. He obviously didn't have enough stuff to one-shot your Drampa last turn, but it's going to be that much easier for him to try and pull it off this turn now that he still has that uh, big hand. All right, so DC to Bench Zorak here from Fabian. There's the special charge, and then Chorus for seven. So it's definitely possible that he finds uh, a way to one-shot the Trampa here as Fabian. We'll see what he gets off this Chorus. Um, yeah, it's definitely possible he one-shots this Trampa here. 100% possible. 100% possible. <laughs> the possibilities are 100% that it's possible. Uh, there's Skyfield. There's a couple basic Pokemon, but I don't see a Field Blower. Uh, he's going to go ahead and throw out the Skyfield. I'm not a huge fan of him just throwing out the Skyfield like that. Um, unless you have the one shot here, he could have just held the sky field, held these two Pokemon, still evolved to the trash lanch. I think that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan because now you just get yeah, now the sky field just gets bumped. You lose both those Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that play there from uh, from Fabian. I would like to see him hold the sky field and hold the Pokemon um, for sure. Yeah, no, there's the end coming down from Blaine. Six for himself, three for Fabian. Because Skyfield is one of the most important pieces right now for uh, Fabian. You definitely don't want to run out of Skyfield. Pokemon are a little bit less important after he did find that uh, <laughs> Super Rod. Um, but there's a hand there for Fabian. He finds a Skyfield Shaman Field Blower. Uh, it's going to get a setup for six. So I ex definitely expect this Jamper to be one shot here. Um, and then Fabian is with the commanded lead Fabian has and the kind of lack of setup that uh, Blaine has. I actually definitely expect Fabian to kind of win this game from here. Um, there's a stretcher. I don't know if he's going to take three or one. Okay, he might be opting for just the Sudowoodoo. That's fine. There wasn't a whole ton of great options off the stretcher there. Um, another setup for three here from Fabian. Uh, and then he can go ahead and just throw... Well, yeah, he can just go ahead and throw two eggs on the bench. I'm fine with him just going with the setup there instead of trying to get another egg into the in, into play instead of putting two eggs into play. Because right at this point... Uh, well, yeah, he's out of Skyfield. So that's one of the things I was making comment on about him throwing away the Skyfield last turn. Um, but he pretty much has game set up here. All he needs is Guzma and a DCE. He's got two DCE in play already. Um, I don't think he's played a draw supporter, so I'd like to see him play N maybe, depending on how big Blaine's hand is. But if Blaine's hand isn't that big, I don't, I'd don't. i like to see him hold the N for sure. Um, there's the retreat into the Zork, and it's going to be a knockout here with the righteous beating on the Drampa. And then he just needs Guzma to, to KO the uh, Oracorio on the bench. And there he goes as he gets Guzma out of the prize. So it was prized the whole time. I was like, I was gonna say, I don't think I saw it in the discard, make it to the discard pile ever. And it definitely wasn't in his deck or hand. So, but he is saved for sure as he does have the Guzma in hand. There's pretty much no way for him to lose at this point, I don't think. Uh, well, there's a Parallel City in Blaine's hand. So actually it's still possible. There's a treasure. Um, he either needs trash a or he needs like a Lele for an end here, though. Um, I don't think he has it. I think he was hoping another Lele was in the deck, but now it might be prized because I don't think he has a draw supporter on his hand anymore after that Juniper. And yeah, he just scoops. There was a Lele prize, there was a trash lance prize. I think he miscounted his Lele or didn't check for it in the prizes there. Um, as it is, it is in the prize, and I'm pretty sure he was looking it for it to find an end there. Um, so we are going to game three here with Blaine starting. Uh, looks like he has a Lele for Bridget into Sudowoodo, Tra Drampa, Trubbish. Once again, in this situation, once again, I'm fine with the double Drampa. Attach to active Drampa and then pass over to Fabian. It looks like it was an Ultra Ball for the Lele or maybe a Treasure. Uh, probably a Treasure. I don't even know if the deck runs Ultra Ball on Blaine's side. I don't think it does. I think it's just four Treasure. Um, oh, that is why you have to be a little bit more aggressive with finding the Drampas, actually. You don't play the Ultra Ball anymore in Drampa Garb. Alright, so I kind of I kind of understand that a little bit more. Um, being a little bit more aggressive about finding Drampas. Because you actually can't find them anymore because you don't play Ultra Ball. So that's actually a little bit more reasonable on uh, Blaine's side. Uh, so back over to Blaine. You got the tre uh, Choice Band to the Trubbish and then Sycamore or Juniper looking for Ability Lock Garb plus DCE. And he found both. So this is like the perfect turn two going first as... Uh, as Drampa Garb. A turn to Ability Lock Garb with turn to Drampa knocking out a Zerua. Doesn't actually get any better than this for Blaine. There's the knockout. Zerua send up from Fabian. 
Another Zerua will make its way to the bench with another Choice Band. Uh, Choice Band makes its way onto the bench Zerua, and then an end play from here. Yeah, I don't like him. I like him committing the Choice Band to the bench rather than the active Zerua. It's very unlikely he finds a way to one-shot a Drampa on this turn. It's possible, but unlikely. So I like him going for just the uh, Choice Band to the bench. Save that for later. Uh, he finds a Zork, a Skyfield, a Shaman. No Field Blower. If he had a Field Blower, he'd be in a way better spot. Uh, he does find a Zork, um, but too, once again, he can't use trade, so he goes with the Psychic to the active, tries to knock out, or tries to paralyze and gaze the Drampa, but Blaine is off to a uh, very good start here. Already two Drampas pretty much set up, ready to go, and he knocks out another Zerua here. Draw pass from Fabian. Uh, yeah, Blaine, two Drampas fully set up. We got a Chorus for six. Uh, and yeah, this game is kind of snowballing out of control for... Uh, or Blaine and this is kind of one of the things that can kind of just happen in this matchup as a uh, as a uh, Drampa Garb um, turn to Garbodor can sometimes just be too much for the Zorak player uh, they do need to try try and find their field blower which they kind of just don't play many of I think Fabian only plays the one field blower actually um, there we go right is beating for 90 uh, by yeah I think yeah Blaine's got the Ace Arola he's gonna set up the fresh Drampa bench the other Drampa um, attach rainbow to it, I would assume. Get the berserk damage up there. Um, he's gonna go with the righteous edge. It does still set up a two shot, so I'm fine with that. Um, choice man to the bench to ruin, not gonna do a whole ton, and then pass back to Blaine. Once again, the second Drampa is fully set up. Um, I, I wouldn't hate to see Blaine bench a Trubbish here. Um, he's gonna get rid of it, a trash lanch garb and grab a Lele. Um, that's fine as well, I guess. Uh, there's the berserk knockout. Yeah, so I think we're going to see Blaine win this game. There's Computer Search in hand, so that should be for Guzma. Bring up the Shaman, and then Retreat, Knockout, Berserk. Uh, so yeah, we do see Blaine winning game two. Yeah, sometimes turn to Ability Lock Garb. When going first, the Drapple Garb is too much for Zoro Garb to handle, as we see in this game. The dead draw from game one, so kind of unfortunate draws overall for Fabian. Um, drew decently well in the second game, and we did see him take that one, but it is a 2-1 win for the Drapple Garb. Definitely the favorable deck in the matchup. Um, yeah, and it ends up as such with Blaine winning 2-1. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the top eight match, uh, Dallas Regionals. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give the video a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day and uh, peace.